Okay. That's a good question. You're not allowed to record. This is a private property. You're not yeah, I'm not. I'm not in your private property. You are private property. At the bottom of the hill, it says private property. It's not public land. You're not allowed to record. I didn't see uh, any well, any sign there. You need to go and have a look, please. So, welcome back to the uh, channel, everybody. Uh, today we are looking at DPD uh, in Barking, which is situated off Jenkins Lane and Spur Road in an IG um, 11 postcode. Now, um, DPD, I like to refer to them as uh, damaged parcel delivered. And uh, one of my uh, subscribers, uh, Cassie, um, calls them dangerous person um, driving. Um, so what, what do you think, uh, guys? Should uh, I call them dangerous person driving or uh, damaged uh, parcel uh, delivered. Now this um, branch has a 2.7 uh, Google uh, rating uh, on Google and uh, we are actually in an FRZ uh, at the moment so no drone flights uh, today uh, but I will stitch in a uh, Google Maps uh, view so you can see what it looks like uh, from above. Now damaged parcel uh, delivered are one of the UK's leading time critical carriers and are owned by La Post which is a French company, and uh, they actually happen to be the second largest postal group in Europe. Now, in the news, um, DBD, uh, or DPD, have also recently acquired Final Mile Courier Company called Absolutely, and Elaine Kerr, the CEO of DPD UK, uh, said that she is delighted to welcome the, uh, the Absolutely uh, team uh, into, DP, uh, into DPD. So, before we go up to uh, DPD, I just want to have a quick look at um, at this. So we've got Essex and Suffolk uh, water, and the description of the works they're doing is actually to zoom in on that is actually a trial hole. So, guys, what's a trial hole? Anyone that works for Essex and Suffolk water? Yeah, let us know what uh, what that is and what it's all about. Uh, we are bank holiday, May bank holiday weekend at the moment, so this is going to be like this until uh, it's put into after the bank holiday weekend. So there's all water sort of in there. There's a pipe, so whether or not there's a leak, there was a leak there. I've got wadding around there. Okay, anyone knows what, uh, what a trial hole is for, uh, leave a comment. Uh, got another one down here, so no, whether that's got anything to do with it as well. You can see DPD's just up here, so we've got to walk around. We're in Jenkins Lane at the moment. But this uh, trial, <coughs> if this is another trial hole, it's right on the, uh, right on a, uh, a bend. Another auditor has uh, vis visited this uh, DPD store before, and um, that was bothered now. And if I can uh, find his, find the video on his channel, I'll, uh, I'll link that into the description. Yeah, you can't really get close enough to that hole. It's full of water. So I've not there's some sort of leak there as well. As you know, there's uh, loads and loads of leaks. Apparently we're losing that over 20% of water sent to leaks, if not more. So it's on a bend, but it does give plenty of uh, notice here that there is a hazard coming up. So there's a freeway control, wait here. So I've got plenty of signage, you can see it goes right the way down. Again, this one says single fold traffic. DPD's up there.
Yeah, it's telling you about traffic lights coming up. Yeah, so it's pretty good. The, uh, the amount of signage that the uh, water folk have put in place. I don't know what the regulations are with regards to um, how much notice you have, especially where it's on a bend as well, because you approach this, you won't be able to see the hazard. Yeah, and again, it just tells you workmen as well. So, yeah, so that's pretty good. So, I assume they were following the uh, legislation now. Yeah, and if you, if you look, if you're driving down here, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't be able to see anything, so that's good, a good signposting. One thing I want to find out if I get to talk to anyone is what, what's the difference between, to zoom in, what's the difference between normal, the red DPD and uh, DPD local. Uh, I think Andy from Nottingham uh, asked what the difference was on that and I didn't know the, uh, didn't know the answer. So it's a spur road I believe that we're in now, which is uh, council maintained. Spur road is a slip road that comes off of the A13. And yeah. So this road here, I, I believe this is uh, privately owned, this, uh, this road. I'm not 100% sure. But there are zebra crossings here. There's uh, double yellow lines. So, it says controlled land on that sign now. It's a parking notice. It's got DHL next door, we'll do them afterwards. So you've got a zebra crossing here. Got quite a lot of 100% electric vehicles, which is good. We saw that at the uh, Dagenham uh, depot as well. So I get to talk to anyone I'm actually going to ask them. I'm going to do the DHL one on the same video I think, unless we get any interaction. So we've got a barrier here. So it says welcome to Barking Depot, but the barrier is up. So there's car park, it doesn't say no, not to enter. So I'll see what's in the skip. Just cardboard, by the looks of it. Because I am on, uh, I did look on at Find My Street and this was private. Didn't say that this was uh, publicly controlled land, I believe it's private land. If I get a chance to speak to these guys, I'm going to ask what the difference is between the two. But you can see that in there, you see all the different parcels all. Uh, when I went to the uh, DPT in Dagenham, it was late Saturday afternoon, so most of it had actually been done. There was hardly anyone or no one walking about there. 
and there's only a few uh, passes on the conveyor belts where this looks pretty rammed and there's uh, plenty of drivers going out so let's ask this lady what the uh, difference is between the two Hiya. so no pedestrian access past that point Oh mate, can I ask a quick question? Joe, uh, I don't know if you can, can you hear me okay? I might not be able to hear your reply though. What's the, um, Joe you got the, the red DPD and the blue DPD local, what's the difference between the two? What is it again? Joe you've got the red DPD and the blue, sorry? Oh right, okay. And you've got the blue DPD, what's the difference between the two? It's all DPD, but I just wondered what the difference between the red and the blue and one's DPD local. I don't know, maybe the, the management room. Management, you're not sure. Yeah, you're not a driver, you're just, you're just a packer. Yeah. Okay, that's great work, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't know the difference between the, uh, between the two. So, as you can see, it's a big old, uh, it's a fairly big site. You know, someone else might come out. Just zoom in. I've got to get another uh, camera that's got a really good uh, good zoom. So I've got bike cracks here, so there's no bike cracks. It doesn't say don't come in this part here, so I think it's just going to read these signs. That's obviously the uh, entrance there. Don't know if it's picking up inside, but it's just loads of uh, sort of boxes really, ready for uh, ready for delivery. Looks like one's got a leaf on the side. So some looking at the window at me. I zoom in on that. I'm gonna stick the GoPro on. That was the guy that was looking out of the uh, out of the office window, but it's not really paying no interest. So there's one of the electric vehicles coming out. I can hardly hear it. It's really, uh, really smooth. Some actually being videoed, uh, videoed as well. Doesn't bother me that. Videoing you, videoing me. manager there. Oh, it's really uh rather than put a big coat today it's getting really warm. So I spoke to one person, he didn't know the difference between the uh, between the two, but he's, uh, like I said, he's just a packer. He may have been working through the night, these guys might have just finished shift and on the way home. But they've got a pair of got decent motors though, so DPD must pay well.
so let's look back down this way. I'm not sure if I want to get in, in much in the way of interaction there. But you never know. I think bothered now as uh video wasn't was okay from memory, it's a long time ago I watched it. I'm actually shutting the shutters now. So I can't see in. Let's see if he shuts both. That's one shot. Let's see if he walks across and shuts the uh, shuts the other one. He's on his mobile phone now. Hopefully someone comes out. It's a shift manager on his uh, jacket as well. Hopefully he'll come out and have a word. I doubt if he will though. Well, oh, never know, it might be. Yeah, he's coming over. I'm let him walk to me. I'm not walking to him. Hello mate. Hello mate, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Quick, uh, uh, yeah, I just had a quick question. Um, do you know the DPD, like the red and the blue? Like DPD uh, can I ask a quick question? You're not allowed to record. This is a private property. You're not yeah, I'm not. I'm not in your private property. You are private property. At the bottom of the hill, it says private property. It's not public land. You're not allowed to record. I it. didn't see uh, any well, any sign there. You need to go and have a look, please. I'm yeah. going to report this to my security now and I'm going to report okay. it to the police. Okay, can I take your uh, your details as well? Because you've just taken a photo of me and under GDPR, I can make the subject access private request. Space. Okay, well it's a civil matter, it's a civil matter. So, what do you think of that guys? Not, uh, not very polite, is he? There's no signs down there saying, uh, saying private uh, land. It's a shared driveway with DHL. Uh. Right, so uh, while I'm waiting for the uh, the police, so I might not be able to get DH uh, DHL in. So let's just do DHL while I'm waiting, so uh, do it all in one video. So DH, uh, DHL are the largest leading 3PL contract logistics provider, uh, providing you with integrated logistics solutions and supply chain expertise across all sectors, and they actually employ 395,000 uh, people across 220 uh, countries. Now in the news, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, so it's A-R-A-M-C-O, so Aramco and DHL Supply and Chain announced new end-to-end -end procurement and logistics hub, a joint venture, and I'll cut some details into the uh, into the video here on uh, on that one. Um, like I said, we are in the FRZ, so again, I'll put a, a link in uh, on, uh, on this. Hello, mate. Can I ask a quick question? Uh, I asked the manager, but he got out of his uh, out of his pram. Do you know the um, DPD red and the DPD blue? What's the difference? Because I know one says DPD, the other one's DPD local, so you'd think that's local deliveries. But I've seen the red vans do local deliveries, so. I think, uh, to be honest, I haven't got the correct answer. Nah, okay. 
Yeah, I asked the manager that, but he he just went off on one. Okay. So it's got a little bit of a little bit of power. So it's not a bit of a power trip. So thanks for being professional, though. Yeah. Yeah. Show your managers are not so professional. So let's have a quick look at DHL and the DHL uh, sort of signs. So all vehicles and so it says no pedestrian access beyond that point there. So DHL. So all vehicles and personnel and so leaving a subject to search, identification was sworn, so high visible clothing was sworn this yard, pedestrians must keep within designated walkways. None of the persons allowed beyond this point, no smoking, caution forklift trucks operating, CCTV in operation. Doesn't say so CCTV in operation, but it doesn't say how you can contact the data controller. Just want to know the answer to just one question, that's all, then I'll be uh, thinking that's what I've come up with. Sir? Yeah, hello there. Um, can I ask you who I'm talking to, please? Yeah, you're talking to, to Thomas Lutie. I'm the operation manager from the site. Uh, hello there. Are you actually on site at the moment, or are you not? I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm working from home today. Okay, just got a quick uh, quick question, um, that which is all I wanted to ask you before your shift manager uh, got out of his pram a little bit. Um, you've got your DPD red and your DPD blue, which is the question that I asked uh, the guy. What's the difference between the DPD red and the DPD local? Because I've asked four people now and no one knows. The local used to be the franchise department. So basically, if you were franchising a site and yep. you was going to invest money into it, then you could have your own, basically, depot. And it'd be a blue depot, a local depot. Yeah. But DPD Red is slowly buying the blue depots out. So they're buying, they're buying the... Uh, the Can we start if we stand, on the, stand over there at the road in case the vehicle comes out? Right, so, so he's still recording and I'm try I told him not to record and he still literally points at the camera in my face and all of yeah, that sight. So what do I do? Do you want me to call the police and just to report him? Right, okay. Right, yeah, yeah, still let's see. Right, I, I can talk to you here. Right, there's, there's one thing. So you got a member of staff recording me. I've got no problems of being recorded, but uh, I, I have actually. I can actually request a copy of this under GDPR. I can make a subject access request. So yeah, the two. Yeah, I, think, the, I, I think you should have in is that obviously we uh, deliver very high value items, and the problem is when it's private property. Yeah. You're not really supposed to be filming. I think it could be. Tech, uh, potentially be seen as you're trying to obviously there's other causes behind why you're recording just okay my, yeah your, your paranoia is not my uh not my problem you know the site i can see that the site is really really secure yeah, um it, sort it, of anyway it definitely is my problem because i have to raise it to regional security manager yeah and obviously i'd have to call the police who are actually based at the, boss, at the bottom of our deck yeah i know i know where uh, exactly where the police are i videoed them a couple of weeks ago uh yeah. now you know, you can call the police, and it's all they're going to do. They're going to come along, and then they're going to educate your staff, uh, because yeah. filming in um, in in public or a public area. Now, this, this is, is not that, a public area. Right, okay, let, let me let right me right understand. Right. Yeah, right. So you got you got a thing called Section Thirty Three of the Criminal Justice Act, nineteen seventy two, which designate which designate what a public space is. Okay. Yes, which is which is which is publicly accessible. Which is publicly accessible. Well, you're wrong there on that count as well. It's publicly accessible. There's no there's no there's no there's no site. Right now, right. This is the first time. Right, right. That's the. F okay, do you want to, Yeah, I looked and there was nothing. Doesn't say anything. Okay, right. You've asked me to leave. You've said it's private land, and I will leave. Absolute tyrant. Absolute tyrant. Okay, well, I will be making a subject access uh, request uh, for this uh, for this uh, video. Now they have asked me uh, to leave. Now, um, when I went on find, find my street, it did say uh, it didn't say that this was um, publicly maintained or anything. Uh, so. 
I am actually going to leave. I've got the answer to the question uh, that I uh, that I actually wanted, uh, but I will slowly walk out. I'm going to have a look to see if it says private land. It says controlled land, but that's to do with parking. So let me have a quick look here. So controlled land terms by entering or remaining on this land, you agree to buy by the terms and conditions. Right, that's a like person date in the form of registration number, photographs of you and your vehicle may be obtained to ensure compliance. Right, so there's nothing there about no entry. Right, so I'm going to go, quickly go and have a look to see if it says private land. If it doesn't say private land, I'm coming back up. Right, so I've looked at that sign. It's a shared driveway uh, as well. And actually only the landowner can actually uh, sort of trespass. I mean, not a jumped up little rat. Right, that says controlled land terms and conditions. Right, so it says controlled land, doesn't say private land. It says welcome to. So members of the public do come here because that's a member of the uh, public. It's actually a cab I looks for coming to collect a parcel. So. Absolute tyrant, that young man. Do some number plate checks while I'm here. All the number plates look fine. Let's have a look, let's find these private property signs. Right. Ah, right, okay, so Segro private property, so it does say private, uh, it does say private property there. So that's fine. So I would say all of that within there. So Spur Road, so Alfred Road, so Jenkins Lane, so DPD. So this road here is public public land, but it does say here private uh, private property. So uh, yep, okay, fine. I didn't see that when I walked in. So I'm now back on uh, publicly public land. So I'm actually uh, out of that way. So that's the A13 up there. So I'm just going to have a quick look up here. So uh, they didn't make that very uh, clear, that sign. So I didn't notice it when I, uh, when I came in. But, you know, maybe that's down on me as well. Maybe I should, uh, should look. So it says private property. So unit one and unit two. It's actually owned by, say, so Segro Park, Park Newham. So I'll have a. I'll cut some details about that uh, into the video uh, as well. So let's just go and have a quick look at the uh, A13 so you can see sort of if you're coming into here via the A13. So I'm actually on private land now because it's a spur road. So yeah, so that's the A A13 here. So you come off the A13, so that's going down towards Barking and sort of South End, etc. This is Spur Road.
Okay guys, so from uh, DPD and uh, sort of DHL, didn't really get much to, chance to really have a look around the DHL uh, site because I was trespassed off the uh, off the land and uh, when you're trespassed, um, you know, you have to leave. Uh, so I've left, uh, but I wasn't aware that it was 100% private, I just wasn't sure. But, the, uh, but I went by the uh, sort of the zebra crossing. Uh, sort of there which would be and if you see the road so I would say that the pro public land goes up to where it kind of changes kind of colour because if you look at this it goes all the way around and then you've got the change uh, in there where you've got the block uh, block paving so that'll probably be from where it actually changes to private land is what I would say Let's have a look, see what, if it indicates that on the map. Yeah, so, so we're, we are standing around about here, so that's where we're standing, I'd say. So you've got the zebra crossing there, which is within their, their boundary, I'd say. And I think... Okay guys, so if you, um, if you like that uh, video, uh, please give it a thumbs up, please give it a like, please give it a share. And uh, until the next time guys, have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.